Nearly 20 large wildfires are burning in nine states across the West tonight. Red flag warnings for dry and gusty conditions stretch from Nevada to Colorado. Just north of Durango, an explosive fire that started two weeks ago is still growing tonight, and Omar Villafranca is there. Crews battling the 416 fire have their hands full with gusty winds, dry conditions, and raging flames. Thick smoke rising thousands of feet into the air is casting a gray haze over Durango's rugged terrain. Todd Pachoda is the incident commander. Make no bones about it. Uh, our number one priority is the safety of incident and response. Time-lapse video shows thick plumes of smoke billowing since June 1st. Over 32,000 acres have burned, the bulk of it in the San Juan National Forest. More than 600 firefighters are on the front line using choppers and air tankers, but they've only wrestled the fire to 15% containment. Farther north in Silverthorne, the Buffalo Fire has scorched over 90 acres in an area known for its ski resorts. More than 1,300 homes have already been evacuated. People living in 1,100 other houses are waiting to see if they'll be next. In Moab, Utah, smoke and charred ashes is all that's left of eight homes. Some good news for the crews. A thunderstorm just rolled through here and knocked down some of the flames for now, but we are starting to see a little bit of that smoky haze come back. Now, more than 1,000 people are here fighting the fire. Many are not going home. In fact, many are staying in tents in these small tent cities like the one you see behind me. Jeff? Well, all right, Omar Villafranca in Durango. Omar, thanks.